Hey guys, what's going on? Emma here with yet another video, and in today's video, yes, another My Strange Addictions, because I have nothing better to do with my time than to commentate on these and react to these. And I don't ever watch these beforehand, I just see them and I just click on them and hit the record button on my camera, and here we are. Today's video, we are going to be watching a woman drinks and bathes in her own urine. Yeah, let's get into this. My name is Carrie. I'm 53 years old. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I'm addicted to drinking my urine. I drink it like I'm in a beer drinking contest. It's easier to drink than water. For the past... How is it easier than drinking water? How? I want to know how is it easier than drinking water? I'd rather drink, I don't know, I'd rather drink lime juice than drink my own urine. The only time you should be drinking your urine is if you're in the middle of the desert and you have nothing else to drink. Ah. For years, Carrie has been drinking nearly all of her urine. It started as just one glass in the morning. Now she consumes up to five glasses every day. I like warm pee. It's comforting. What? That's crazy! What? Wait. Hey Siri. What's 2.3 liters in ounces? 2.3 liters is 77.77 fluid ounces. She drinks 77.77 fluid ounces of her own urine every day? What? Hey Siri. What's 3,406 liters in ounces? 3,406 liters is 115,170.56 fluid ounces. 115,170.56 fluid ounces of her own urine, and that's since her addiction began. What the? The only time I see it plausible to even consider drinking your own urine is if you're in the middle of the desert. That's it. That's the only time you should be drinking your urine. What the heck? What the crap? What the heck? Oh my gosh. First time I drank my urine, I didn't throw up, and it wasn't horrible. So I thought, you know what? I can do this. My urine does smell, depending on what I eat. Today it tastes a whole lot different than it did four years ago. Sometimes it's salty. Sometimes it tastes like plum champagne. Mmm. Maybe a little lemony. You can taste different things going through your body. There's certain things I don't like to eat anymore. Because they don't taste good. Recycled. <laughs> I love, love, love asparagus. I won't eat it anymore. It makes the urine taste... Ooh, really? <laughs> urine is your body's waste. It's what your body has decided to filter through and get, get rid of. So. It doesn't seem healthy to me that, to put that back into your body. But Carrie doesn't drink urine just because she loves the taste. Her addiction began two years after being diagnosed with cancer. Carrie decided against chemo, instead turning to urine therapy, an ancient and long discounted practice to maintain health. Four years later, she still- Why? That, why, do you, why do you want to use ancient medicine? I mean, yeah, sure, some ancient medicine is still being used and practice, practiced today, but it's been a lot more updated with 
you know, obviously technology, medication, what have you. But why do you want to try and do urine therapy? Thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years later, if not millions of years later. I'm guessing that this urine therapy was done in like ancient Egypt or like the Romans or the Greeks or some like that time of history. Why do you want to? Why do you want to do that? Uses it to fight her disease. She has never consulted a physician about her unorthodox treatment. Carrie has also found other ways to consume urine besides drinking. I use urine for toothpaste. I think it's great. No! No! You don't do that! No! You don't do that! My teeth from the inside out. I use urine under my eyes and my ears, behind my ears, through my hair. Adding it to your bath is really good for your skin. Aged urine is real good for uh, motion replacement. You put it in your skin and it completely changes the texture, moisture. This is my eye cup. And I fill it up with urine and then hold it over my eye with my eye open. It's not easy. Because it burns. With your eye open, of course it's going to burn your eye. Because it's something your body doesn't need. I might as well go get salt from the kitchen and just put salt in my eye and see how that feels. Her daughters worry their mom's addiction is killing her, especially after finding a suspicious mole on her back. My concerns are whether or not the urine is helping with the cancer to really think that this is the best thing for her to be doing to help her health get better. I don't know, I'm just scared. I want my mom here. How, how could you not have known? That they didn't have any, like, feelings that that would be completely okay with you drinking your own urine. Look objectively at this urine therapy and seeing if it's hurting me, and that would help my daughters. When the doctor examines the mole on Carrie's back, she's immediately alarmed. So this is irregular in shape. It would strike me as suspicious right away. When melanoma does recur, it tends to recur at a more aggressive phase, and if it's not caught early, it could kill you. What is it you would suggest? In terms of your urine therapy, I would recommend taking a little hiatus for a while. And I suggest a biopsy of that spot on your back. I'm very adverse to knives. This has grown from a very sick place inside. If we cut it from out here, it signals that inside go bananas. Okay, have you lost faith that traditional medicine could help you with your risk for recurrent cancer? Hmm. Hmm, oh, that's a good question. I don't want to help. <laughs> if you ever did consent to a biopsy, and it came back showing that the cancer has recurred, would you ever consider that the urine therapy had failed, and you'd be interested in pursuing something different? Uh-oh. From everything I've read, if I quit, I'll die. I don't have much else to add. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, let's have an open discussion about this, about your guys' thoughts, and I'll interact with you guys in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications for more, seeing as YouTube wants me to tell you guys that. Of course, I won't ever stop. But, you know. Have a good rest of your day, or night, or evening, or whenever you're watching this, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!